when I say, who's the master? You say, no, no. What is up, guys? Shun of the King here, back with another toy review. And today, I'm bringing you a Marvel Legends review of the Iron Man Mark LXXX5 whatever <laughs> again I, I i typically when it comes to my uh marvel legends review i like to get to you know short keep it short sweet and simple again i'm going to do the unboxing i'm going to show you the the accessories go through the paint apps a little bit of articulation and then i'll get to my favorite part which is always the size comparisons to other figures so without further ado let's jump into it all right so uh first off I was very apprehensive on getting this figure. I have ne I'm, I am a huge Iron Man fan, um, but again, I have. When it comes to Marvel Legends, I used to always stay away from Iron Man because I never really loved the paint applications and I never really loved how the suits actually looked. But upon getting this in the mail, and again, I did pre-order this months ago, probably back in July on uh, Amazon, and it just shipped, and you know, I ended up getting it. So. Here we go. Now, uh, here's the front, as you can see, and here's the side, which is a picture of Iron Man from Endgame, from Endgame. And then we have the back here, and I will bring it a little closer so you can read the write-up. Pause it right there if you want to see it. So, without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing. I, the only one that, like I said before, the only one I'm missing in this series is, I think it's uh, Captain America and Vision. I don't think, I'm, I might actually have Captain America on pre-order as well. But, um, so this is the unboxing, and it comes with the Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet that I just broke. Oh, it looks like it comes off. Thank God, because I thought I just broke it, but I didn't. Okay, so it can probably, I think they just do it this way so they can go and make the Hulk. So, here it is. Ooh, I thought I broke it. And again, it's, it's actually very nice detail. Let me pull it off, and it comes with a peg, so you can kind of peg it in. I like the red. Again, it looks nice. And then this is the other piece that I thought I broke off, but it's actually it's supposed to be like that. So you just kind of put it in to the arm and it just kind of reflexively stays there like so. So, yeah, so that's that. Let's put that to the side. I'm actually surprised that it comes with so many accessories as well, because usually Marvel Legends isn't known for the accessories. So we also get an alternate arm, which is the I think this is the uh, time, the time bracelet thing that they used when they were going back in time so we get that we get repulsors and again these are very shocking because normally you don't see these on you know an iron man figures you usually only get this in the um shf sh figure arts or in the mafex so and again i'll, I'll show you in the comparison so you get one repulsor you get the second one, the third, and the fourth. It also comes with the builder figure piece, the Thor arm. So now I have two legs, an arm, and the head. I'm just missing the body and um, I guess the weapon. And again, I really don't care about Bro Thor. It was not, you know the holy grail that I was looking for. So, if I don't complete that one, I don't really care. Uh, open palm hands with the little piece that you can insert for the repulsor. And we got a closed fist. And we have Iron Man himself. Out of the packaging. Look at that. I'm Again, I am 
absolutely shocked. I do not hate this Iron Man. This actually might be my favorite Marvel Legends Iron Man that I've seen. I mean, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to give them some credit here. The paint applications aren't bad. The articulation looks good. I am impressed. All right, so let's start here. So if you look at the, the, the one thing, the, the one negative that I'll say is the repulsor chest. I don't know if there's supposed to be a sticker here, but it's just like the solid white. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Again, and the eyes also. Um, the eyes look fine, actually. I'm not going to really complain about that. But again, the chest itself looks a little weird. It does. But I love the gold. The golden arm is actually spot on. It's kind of like an iron gold, kind of like a rustic, dirty look to it. I love the red. I love the silver in the arms here. And again, I and here on the back again, the paint applications very solid. So let's look at the articulation. So we can go straight up. Full 360. Arm can go out. Arm can go down. Pivot. Fully up. I'm pretty sure you can extend it out too, but again, I don't want to mess with it too much right now. And then we got the open arm. Yep, you can go out, like I said, all the way out, all the way in. Forearm, pivot, leg, all the way up, bend at the knee, double jointed knee, ankle pivot, you got to have that ankle pivot. Again, uh, let's look at ab crunch. So he can, he can go that far down all the way back and there's no gap so that's the other thing a lot of times when you get this little back part you can tell where it's not painted but this has actually been painted pretty well so even if he's going all the way back he looks good head 360 swivel he can look about that high up so if you want to get him in like a flight pose, he can kind of look like that. All right, let's put the repulsor in his hand. Ooh, I love it. I am just shocked. Absolutely shocked at how good this is. <laughs> like, you guys wait till I do the comparison to the other Iron Man figures, and then you'll see, like, why I'm shocked. Because, again, this thing looks amazing. Like, this one actually might be better than the Hemdall. Like, it's crazy. So you can do, like, a cool pose where he's, like, hovering. And you can kind of get, like, the little Iron Man pose. I mean, shocked. I'm shocked, guys. <laughs> I am shocked at how much I like this. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, so let me take the arm off here. Put in the other repulsor. That comes off pretty easy. So I can put the other one in. And these actually go in very easily. So look. So we can kind of just pull his head up like that. Put one arm back, one arm back. And just kind of have him flying like. 
incredible. I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. So one other thing that I want to do is I want to take this arm off and just see if it fits. And it doesn't. Because I think this goes for the Hulk. I think this this fits goes for the Hulk. So yeah, it doesn't fit the Iron Man at all. Obviously, but I think it fits the uh, Marvel Legends Hulk as well. So that's probably what it goes to. And that's fine. So I'll put this arm back in. All right. So here we are. Almost done. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's put this to the side. It's time for the size comparison. So here is the Iron Man next to the war machine and let's see if the repulsors fit war machines guns ho oh, ho ho they do they do oh joy So even if you want to kind of do like the war machine, kind of like shooting poses, you can use the Iron Man stuff for that. So we'll kind of put them back here, kind of like shooting. And don't worry, I'll get some zoom ins. And then here is the Mark 50 next to the Marvel Legends Hem doll. If you guys want, you can see the review for this figure. I have it on my YouTube channel. And then we have the Walmart exclusive Captain America with Mjolnir looking good. And then we have some of my own personal favorite. Uh, well, actually, you know, before I get there, um, let me also show it next to the other ones in this in this series, which is Valkyrie. I apologize. Uh, Getting her to stand up sometimes is a bit of a problem. But here we go with Valkyrie. All right, so let's move these guys out. Because I want to bring in my other Iron Mans and I kind of want to compare them to that. So my, one of my favorite Iron Mans is the amazing Yamaguchi Iron Man and the SH Figure Arts, the most recent Iron Man that came from SH Figure Arts, the Nano with the Nanotech weapons. Some of these weapons actually came with the uh, Takara Tony um, mods, so uh, I have those as well. And it looks good. Let's let's kind of get a close up. So. As you can see here, the paint apps on SH Figure Arts are a deeper red, and you kind of get that, and you can kind of see how the, the chest plate actually looks transparent, like you can actually glow in the dark, and you can actually see the eyes themselves are also transparent, and again, just the deeper reds. These are supposed to be the same exact Iron Man, but of course you can tell that this one is far superior. Now, I also have this Iron Man, which was the first in the, uh, the series to come out from SH Figure Arts. So I also have him. And again, on him, I have the Takara Tony custom nano blades attached. And again, he looks fantastic. I'll let you get a close up of that, as you can see here. But again, I am completely shocked at how much I like this this Iron Man. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also have the Alpha Flight uh, from uh, the Walmart. I mean, the uh, Amazon exclusive Alpha Flight. 
So you guys want to see a review for that, just uh, let me know in the comment section. Um, I also created a, a new page on my uh, YouTube, oh, I'm sorry, on my uh, Facebook, which is the Mag Nerd Podcast. Uh, definitely check that out. Link will be in the description below. Uh, and uh, have a great day, guys.